faithful, faithful key jump back. Okay, so you said, okay, so you want to engage with me so we can pick up where we left off. So do you understand that there's a distinction between propositions and noun verb pairs? Yes. Okay, here, I'm just gonna put out an announcement so people can tell that you're in here. Um, and then that you asked that because yeah, so um, the you reason... said that my statement into um, involuntary impositions was not the same as some proposition uh, like involuntary impositions of will are wrong or x is an involuntary no, no, no. imposition of will or whatever yeah no i said i said two things i said involuntary impositions and then i said a imposes involuntary impositions on b you okay. said those weren't the same yeah so you understand one is a proposition and the other isn't uh you're cutting out i can't hear you uh i can change the server to match your area where roughly are you without doxing yourself i'm in minnesota i don't care um okay i don't know central maybe united Dog states u.s central okay all right you wrecked me on the location of minnesota so i think earlier when you asked me that i said that i was in maryland but i'm not in maryland what the fuck well, I, I really thought i was in maryland <laughs> i've been good. in maryland for months what are you doing so okay so yeah you understand, understand. that that um there's a distinction there you're saying two different things one is a proposition the other isn't uh, do you understand those two are the exact same thing? That's that's my point. So no, I, I would I would reject that. I don't think that a proposition is the same as something that's not a proposition. The two statements are synonymous. They mean literally the same thing. Whether you count one as a proposition or not is irrelevant. Wait so, a second. Do you think something other than propositions can have truth value? Uh, whether it's a proposition or not is irrelevant to the question. Do right you, here, so. No, no, no. Do you that's, think something? I mean, you're missing other, the point again. You, you're getting caught no, up on. No, 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 no. Do you think something other than propositions can have truth value? I, we can't go down this rabbit hole. This is not Do part of the point. Do you think that something we other cannot than go down this rabbit hole? That's irrelevant to the point. Do so again, the, the two statements I said are literally other than equivalent. Propositions can have truth value. No, I'm I'm showing you why they're not. Do you think something? So yeah, other sentences than... can have truth value. Sentences right. can have truth value. Right. Okay. So if something that's not a proposition, right? A proposition is. A can we stop going down this rabbit hole now? No, no, no. Because so, I answered your no, question. Stop. Can we go back no, to no, no. the where reason? I the it? reason we're what we're trying to get back to here. Let me. Let me lay out the whole groundwork so you can understand where we're located, okay? I asked you why killing, what it means to say killing a baby is wrong. It means killing a baby is immoral. What's it mean to say killing a baby is immoral? It means that killing a baby is out of line with some kind of law of nature, okay? So I asked you what that law is. You spent a long time trying to come up with convoluted reasons not to tell me what the law is. Like, oh, a physicist can't tell you what gravity is. Well, no, you're wrong. They can give you a mathematical description of gravity. So I'm trying to extract some kind of description of the law from you. Now, eventually you tried to put forward descriptions of the law. One of the descriptions you gave was a proposition. One wasn't. And you won't understand that they're not the same thing until you grasp, grasp that propositions and things that aren't propositions are distinguished by the fact that only one of them is capable of having truth value. So do you understand that only propositions can have truth value? Sentences can have truth value. You can just Google uh, truth semantics. Right. But so again, this you, is totally, you, totally missed the point. Again, you think I've answered that your question. Anything other than I've, prop, do I've you think, answered your question. Do I've answered you it. Now can I, can I say now? Do you, you, do you think that anything think other than propositions can have truth value? Sentences. I've already answered this no, no, no. three Look, times. Do you, Why just, do just you give, keep asking I want a clear a yes. Okay. Sentences. Oh, oh what yes. else? Right. So, what, sorry. What else can? Yes. What, what other sentences. than propositions can have truth yes. value? Yes. Sentences. No, no. Propositions like are sentences. Times. Look. Slow down. Shut up. What other than propositions can have truth value? If sentences can have truth value, both of the things I said answering? are sentences. Why? Why aren't you I, I answering? What? Can anything other than a proposition have truth value? If you're saying that all sentences are propositions, both of the things I said are sentences. No, no, no. I'm asking, look, can anything other than a proposition have truth value? Yes or no? If you count sentences as can propositions, anything then other no. than a, a, you don't even, you don't know what, a, I thought you were extremely competent with propositional logic. You don't know what a yes, proposition is. Yes, I am. Is. You're just ignorant of right. everything. Right, so a proposition, what's, okay, so, so hard why, why don't you deluded. tell me, why don't you tell me what a proposition is? I would love to. 
Okay, what's a proposition? I would love to tell you. you sure, shut what's a proposition? Listen, okay? Sure, so, what's a proposition? I'm, no, we have, we have to stick to the topic. No, 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 keep no going Tom, off on these I'm not rails. allowing you. Don't I'm not allowing you to derail no, no, no. from the systematic no, no. critique I'm delivering of your view. All I'm willing to do is deliver the critique. Given any now, critique. if you've you given want to a, a reply, if you want a red herring and you're to talk about a red herring, I'm happy to present the critique. So right now, I'm trying to get you to understand so your is a red that herring. I'm trying you to get you to understand that the two definitions of the Don't law that you That's gave are not the same because one is a proposition and one right. is and I'm trying and to enter your question and propositions you can have a truth case. value. So do right, you right. and I'm trying think, to explain to you why you are wrong you and you are not listening. You think I'm wrong that the, you think okay so you're taking the you position that yes, something other wrong. than propositions can have truth value? What is the thing wrong. other than so propositions that can have truth value? May what is the why thing other than propositions that can have truth value? Please. No. Think about what is the what this is, is only the you're trying to ramble said, you're trying to same. ramble answer the question it's simple. Can anything other than propositions have truth value? Can I never said anything, anything about proposition. uh, Well, propositional logic expert over here, why don't you answer for me? I never said anything me? about propositions. Can anything other than propositions have truth value? I yes never said or anything no? other than propositions. Can anything why other than propositions have truth value? Yes or no? A banana's tasty, yes or no? Can anything why other than propositions, propositions have truth value? Yes or no? Asking about propositions. Oh, I've explained. I never said oh, I've explained. Oh, I've explained why I'm asking about propositions. I'll walk you through it again. When we debated, you said that the statement "killing a baby is wrong" means that killing a baby is immoral, means that killing a baby is a violation of some kind of law of nature. When I asked what that law was, you gave two separate definitions. One of them was a proposition; the other wasn't. So now, and you no. denied, and you no. denied, them, and you denied, and you denied, no. that, and you denied that you gave separate answers. So in order to help you Correct. understand that your answers are different because you don't seem to be able to grasp it, I'm pointing out that one is a proposition and one isn't. And once you understand that only propositions can have truth value, you'll understand that only one of your definitions was something capable of being true, okay? So can anything neither other than propositions neither, have truth neither value? Yes or neither no? Was a proposition. Yes or no? Was a brain dead logic neither devoid was a moron. So you can are anything wrong other than propositions have neither truth was value? A proposition. Yes or no? In. Can neither anything was a other than propositions in. have truth value? Like how, how yes do you get or this? no? How do you not can get this? anything neither other than propositions have truth value? Yes no. or no? You dumb sack no. of shit. Oh, okay, great. So nothing other than propositions can have truth value. Right. So and now, nothing, nothing so I said was a proposition. So now, so now, so now, so now, so now, so now you understand that one of your responses to the question, no. what is the law? Wrong. Neither oh, were okay, so do we need to pull Done. up the video? Do we need to pull up the video? Oh, well, <laughs> wait, so I let's, say it. I let's bet. Both uh, word okay, for word right, so right I'm, now. I'm, I'm willing to bet you $500. Do you want to bet that you gave an answer that right. was a proposition right. at one right. point and an answer that wasn't a proposition at another? Right. Okay, okay, fine. Now, can I say them both? No, no, right no, next no, 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 no. Right I'd like to bet you $500 and I'd like to go watch the video. Will you great, take my like bet? Five times, yes. Can okay. I now say the Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. What we're going to do is we're going to go watch the video. We're going to go dig up the precise timestamp. Okay, okay, and that's I want, fine. I want I want you on I'm the record. I'm recording right now. I'm recording right now. That if I'm recording right now. Everything you want. I'm recording right now and I want you on the record saying that if I show that you gave one answer that's a proposition and one answer that's not a proposition that you will give me five hundred dollars. Okay, Are we okay, in agreement? Great, great, I don't trust great. that you're being honest. I want you. To, I want. I want. I no, because you're, tell, you're telling me that your answers are dishonest. Me, you're telling me that your answers are you dishonest, right? I want I, an I will honest answer. To everything you say uh, okay, until look, I get to it. Right. So you're simply not willing to interact with a critique, and until you are, no, I'm not I, really I'm that interested to in interact, talking. But you keep right. So if you want to interact, if you want to interact, if you want to interact, then the next thing to establish is whether you gave an answer that was a proposition in both instances. Do you want to go and watch the video and try to establish whether yes, that's, that's the case Yes, that's what I want to establish. That's what I'm do trying you to want, establish. Wait, you okay, okay, so do, do we, can we place this bet? 500 bucks yes, that you get. I'm going to keep agreeing to everything you say. No, but you're, I'm not no, 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 anything. now, now the second I put money on the line, you say, I'm just going to agree to everything so that you can back out later and say, that's I didn't right. really that's bet right, you. Because you're not giving me a chance right. to so talk. you said you want to interact with a critique. You, I'm telling you, you where we're at in the talk. critique. No, I want you to reply, okay. right? No, Tom, no. you do not get yes, to, yes. you that's do not, you do not get to take over the line of questioning when I push you, when I push you in, when I push you, 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 when
push you into a corner. You don't get to weasel out. I'm sure you I'm debate. Weasel I'm weasel sure. I'm sure. I'm sure you debate. A, I'm sure you debate a lot of people who are little pansies and who don't know enough philosophy to call you out on your blatant bullshit. Okay, anyone who knows philosophy knows that you are completely full of shit. So when you're talking to me, someone who has a decent understanding, not an amazing understanding, a decent enough understanding to grasp that you're full of shit and who's not a pushover, you can be damn sure that until you respond to the critique, that yes, until, that yes, until you respond to the critique, yes, will you, will not, you, will not, you 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 will not be taking over. You will not be taking over the line of questioning. Oh, okay. Now, so, uh, what we want to establish, what we want to establish at this point, you sophist piece of trash, what we want to establish at this point is whether both of your answers were propositions. Now, do you want to go and watch the video? Okay, so let's go and do that. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna take a break. We're gonna take a break. I will be back in approximately a few minutes, and I will have timestamps of where you've answered the question, once with a proposition, once with something that is not a proposition. You're welcome to interact with the others until I'm back. I'll be back in a few I, I minutes with the timestamps. I know. Well, let's, just, let's just play a commercial break. Oh my god, this kid is so dumb. He thinks he's Wait, Mary, can you play the, the, prop, uh, the proposition whatever video as our ad break? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, oh, the, one from, the one from uh, Xavier. Oh, absolutely. So, um, this is the ad, um, <laughs> the break. <laughs> Good, this is our ad break. <laughs> this is an ad break. <laughs> Did we throw propositions at your side? Yeah, break. Like Shut a... the fuck up. Uh, every indulgence, a cosmic cost. Each every luxury has a deep price. Every indulgence, a cosmic cost. Each fiber of pleasure you experience causes equivalent pain somewhere else. This is the first law of hemodynamics. Joy can be neither created nor destroyed. The balance of happiness is constant. Fact. Every time you eat a bite of cake, someone gets horse Fact. Every time two people kiss, an orphanage collapses. Factist. Every time a baby is born, an innocent animal is severely mocked for its physical appearance. Don't be a pleasure hawk. Your every smile is a...
voluntary impositions. They are literally the same sentence. Okay. Wait, but so... is A voluntary or is A involuntary? A is a person. So A is imposing involuntary impositions on to B. Okay. But um, A is voluntarily imposing involuntary I, impositions. I also, I'm, I'm gonna, I'll let you continue. I'm, I'm gonna hang around for this, but um, I just want to point out I've got a list of times that you gave uh, answers that are and aren't propositions. But sorry, please continue, Vic. I'll let you finish before I get back into this. No, no, go ahead. Do your thing. No, 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 no. It's, 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 it's fine. I think, I think, I was, I I think was just, I think was just. Vic was just trolling with some like weird deflationary stuff about voluntary involuntary impositions. No, no, I was just making sure that he thought that A was acting voluntarily, because otherwise right. A was involuntary. Right, because because yeah. if we wanted to if we wanted to cash this out, we'd have to create like a logic of action with voluntary action. And the question would be is like, does it doesn't make sense to have a voluntary involuntary action? No, there's two people there. There's A is a person and B is another person. So A does some action which involuntarily imposes on B. Whether or not A did it intentionally or not <laughs> doesn't make a difference. Wait, so A does an action unintentionally? Right. It can. It doesn't make a difference. The point is, is that it's involuntary to the perspective of B. So oh. some, you could say A is a rock. Wait, it doesn't make a difference. So a rock falls onto a person. That's an involuntary imposition on the person. And that's immoral, right? But 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 what does yes. what, do you mean, what, what, do you, what does he mean by the perspective there? Do you mean A's action is involuntary from the perspective of B, or A's action onto B is involuntary versus the desires onto of B? Yes, but, but, that but the second. who's who's being voluntary versus involuntary here? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean. So so there's an action right. that occurs, like some force is applied onto B, and that force was not B did not voluntarily agree to accept that force. Right. Okay. 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 So you're not. Totally crazy. He so didn't consent. Why is why is the worth protecting from this action? Is this rise? That's it, that's the deeper question about morality. Right here, we're just trying to establish: Are these two sentences the same thing? So no. the two sentences, involuntary positions, is sentence one, and A imposes involuntary positions on B. Those two sentences are the same thing because involuntary impositions implies there is a will in the sentence because that's required for something to be involuntary. And there has to be something other than that will that imposes on it because if it's imposing on itself, then it's voluntary. So A and B are entailed in just the two words, involuntary imposition. I think so Jack rephrasing was, that is A the, imposes... What? Jack, were you trying to say something? Jack was trying to jump in no, on No, I was laughing at Young identifying Rock. Oh. <laughs> It was like a kind of like a fever dream moment. I felt like an, an I was in an acid trip. Like, the... Okay, so so the argument is the two sentences are the same: involuntary impositions and A imposes involuntary positions on B because the words involuntary impositions entail both A and B necessarily. Just because if it's involuntary, there has to be a will and something else to impose on it that's other than itself. So those two sentences are literally the same thing. Do you want to comment on that at all? No, let's get back to the AY thing. Uh, AY, you want to go in on this guy? Wait, okay, you guys want to switch the topic? Uh, well, wasn't he going to do something now? Yeah, no, 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 no that's fine. Finish up, Vic, and then I'll, I'll wreck him after on the proposition thing. You can finish your thing first, it's fine. Oh, I forgot what, what I was going to say now. What thing? Tom, were you seeking a reply from Vic on something, or are you done with him? Oh, you. Reply from you. D yeah, did you listen to one? No, I was... If you listened to me, you'd be aware that I left for a while there to go find the timestamps of when you defined the law as a proposition and not a proposition. So here's four timestamps. They're posted in general. You can go check them for yourself. Oh, yeah, Young, you're damn right I'm sassy. This guy's a sophist. I have no patience for sophists. So if you go and look hey. at those timestamps, you can come back in a minute or two. And if you want to lie to everyone in the room to their face when they can go and check the video and see that you gave answers that were and weren't propositions, go crazy. Or if you want to just, you know, save your anus a beating right now, you can just admit that you gave answers that were and that weren't propositions. Would you admit that, Tom? No. Okay, so then go, uh, I encourage everyone. So I'm gonna just post some, post a video link here. Um, and I'd like for like I really mean this okay I'm gonna mute for a minute you're not gonna mute you're not gonna miss any discussion I'm not gonna talk to him while you're gone I want everyone in this room who has 
who is able to, to just go and watch this video that I just posted. Okay, not the whole thing. I want you to go to the timestamps that I'm posting right here. And I want you to identify if the things Tom says at those timestamps, which are instances of me asking him what the law is, are or are not propositions. So I'll, I'll put a timer on for like two minutes and then I'll come back to VC. I'd, I'd encourage everyone to please actually do that so you have the context for this. I'll be back. You can actually check what I said like five minutes ago, which is going to be word for word the same thing as those two things he's going to show you. Because that was kind of the whole point. Fun. Yay. Okay, now I think that that's about enough time for everyone to have watched those clips. I'm sure that everyone understands that Tom stated a proposition sometimes when he was asked what the law is and sometimes did not state a proposition. Now, Tom, if you won't acknowledge that, you're simply denying objective reality and I have no interest in talking with you. So I'm gonna give you five tries to produce an honest answer to this question and then I'm just gonna hand you to the others for you know as much of a beating as you want to receive because there's plenty of people in here who know more about philosophy than me and if you can't handle me, they're just gonna fucking shit on you, okay? So do you acknowledge that the timestamps provided link to instances of you simultaneously defining the law as a proposition and not as a proposition? Yes or no? I didn't check them. I didn't check them. Okay, so you can go and do that. We'll wait for you. I'm, I'm just going to assume they are. I don't. I don't. I trust you. I don't care. Okay, so then you understand. So now you can grant my point that sometimes you answered the question, "What is the law?" with a proposition, and sometimes you didn't. No, I answered the same way. Now, can I explain no, why? No, that's a contradiction. No, you just contradicted yourself. Okay, if you answered the same way, then it can't no, be you're the case. Wrong. That's it, the point. If you, no, no, no. Wait, okay, wrong. so are you questioning the objective fact that sometimes you gave a proposition and sometimes you didn't? If you grant that, you can't... Yes. Oh, okay, then go watch the time. I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying you are wrong. That's your description and you are wrong. Right, so I've... Do you want me to go and listen again and write them out? Are you unwilling to go listen to your own words? We can talk about whether can they're I... propositions or not. Yes, Here, can, I would like to just, say them, let's and just, can you tell me let's, just, let me... let's just, let's just, I want to get a take from all of the people who know their philosophy, okay? So, starting with Vic, is involuntary imposition of will a proposition? I don't know, maybe. Depends what you mean by it. We're just talking about the action. Involuntary mm. imposition of will, like tiger, running tiger. Is that a proposition? I guess not. Correct. Jack, how about you? Is involuntary imposition of will a proposition? Are you talking to me? Yeah, I'm just yeah. asking you, is involuntary imposition of will a proposition? No. 
of course. Okay. Um, do we have any other people who are good with philosophy? Uh, I don't know what Mikolash uh, knows. I know he's one of you guys. Um, Mikko, you can answer if you want. Um, <clears throat> okay. Let's see. Who else do we have in here? Ferdinand. Um, let's, Ferdinand's kind of crazy, so we're not going to do Ferdinand. Um, I'm in here. And let's, I don't I'm know here. who that is. Is Bryn in here? Hey, Bryn, is involuntary imposition of will a proposition? Absolutely not. Okay, so everyone who I'm aware of in here right now who knows philosophy will agree that's not a proposition. If Can you, you want, ask if the you second want, one? Though? If you want, ask, if you want, the no, one. the whole point is that the second one's a proposition. That's why it says proposition beside it, you idiot. Sometimes you gave a proposition and sometimes you didn't. That's the whole point. That's why you're contradicting yourself when you say, yes, I agree with the objective reality uh, of what of those clips, but I gave the same answer every time, right? That's a contradiction. That's saying that it is and isn't the case that you answered with a proposition each time right that's false so do you want me if you want I can take a minute and I can go get a few PhDs to weigh in do you want me to get some PhDs to tell you whether that's a proposition or not would that be helpful I'd like you to say both would right you, next to one another would you wait wait wait. Oh. Would, wait wait no 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 stop trying to weasel see I've watched our debate back and I've noticed what you do I've noticed what you do right you try to ask questions when you're on the hook for a question I'm very savvy to it now so you're not going to be able to pull that okay I adjust when I notice someone's mode of sophistry do you want me to go and get a few PhDs to give their opinion or they don't are care. You, or you okay so okay so I'm happy with no, yes, so so in that case will you accept that involuntary imposition of will is not a proposition. No. Okay. So if you so are again, I'm, okay, my position right, 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 right. So so you you would agree you same. would agree that you're rejecting the understanding of proposition that is standard no. in logic and that any right. Okay. So if no. you want if you want to take that radical view. I'm frankly done. There's I think no radical I've, view. So, right, so again, right. The wait, wait, thing stop, I can grant logic. stop. Don't make me use priority push to talk. Right. So if you want to hold the position that involuntary imposition of will is a proposition, you're radically at odds with the entire field of logic and linguistics, and I would end the debate there. You've humiliated yourself. If you want to agree with the consensus, right, with the normal understanding of what a proposition is, I'm happy to continue. Uh, but if not, we're done there. Well, I grant propositions. I grant the normal understanding of no, propositions. No, we're, ask, we're asking if involuntary imposition of will is a proposition. Yes, it's the exact same thing as the other no, one. No, right. So that's not a proposition. Now, do and you I want... can prove that. Right. I can so, prove that. So do you do you want me to get a few PhDs to weigh in? I mean, this is pretty it's pretty simple stuff, dude. It's common understanding. It's just the same in any logic textbook. Sure, if they're going to give me a chance to speak, yes, get them so you can shut up and so I can actually present oh, my argument. Okay, yes. Okay, okay. So now it's going to take me a bit of time to go and get input yeah, from PhDs. Minutes. Well, I don't know if I can do it in 15 right. minutes. It could be that it'll take a few hours. I don't just I, I don't just have PhDs sitting there anticipating my text, but I know people who do have PhDs in relevant fields and who can weigh in on this, okay? So sure. I will I will go and do that. And if you want to come back in a few hours and then argue against, you know, the you, and, and try <laughs> and disagree with that consensus, you're welcome yes. to. Okay. That's, can you send me a so, message? I don't not like. No, I, 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 I have I have no interest in messaging you. You're a sophist, right? You've humiliated yourself. And so, when when so the PhD you, you, you you are taking you're taking the radical position that involuntary imposition nope. of will is a uh. proposition, right? Yeah, you, you can bullshit yes. all you want and you can pretend that's yes. a proposition, right? That is just not, sure. that's not in line with the normal understanding of what a proposition is. In fact, I mean, I can, I can go and, I can go and dig okay. up some basic logic stuff if you want. Would that be helpful? Uh, get the PhD so I can actually present my argument to them because oh, they're not, they're not going to sit here and talk to you, you idiot. You think a fucking anyone with a brain is going to want to waste their time with you? But I can certainly get yeah, only people written, who are can, smart actually let the I other person talk. You I don't. Can certainly You're get an idiot. You're a fucking dumbass. I can certainly get written statements. Now, if, well, that does if, nothing for me. If, I'm just going to reject if, them. So. If you want to take. Oh, you're gonna reject you're gonna reject written statements that are signed off by a PhD yep. who's who can be yep. looked up, right? Okay, well that's just silly, right? Yep. Okay, yep. no, no, that's fine. If you reject, if, you, if you're going to, false. if you're going to, if you're going to reject, if you're going to reject the evaluations of PhDs, if you're going to reject the consensus across logic and linguistics, I think we're done here. Yeah, you've I'm been, not going to. You've been humiliated. Your straw man is not accurate, so your well, straw man well, to them will. Well, I'm going to reject. Well, that. No, no, the straw man is just a verbatim quote of you, right? It's involuntary imposition of will, and that is something that nobody yes. will ever tell you is a proposition. Now, if you want to take 
the radical view that's against the consensus of linguistics and logic that that is a proposition i don't have any interest in engaging that because that's a silly view right that's that's a view that's changing the fundamental meaning of the thing that is like the atomic building block in logic right i have no interest in a view like that so you can take that radical position that's fine but that would be the end of my debate with you Again, no, I'm not doing that. You're just stupid, a fucking idiot, and you don't understand propositions. So, and I can prove that. I can prove the two statements are the same, and I would be happy to do so. Yeah, would... I, I think, I think, I think at this point you've been pretty clearly humiliated. But you can, you can make your case. Others might respond to you. Thank you, thank you. So, the two sentences. Yeah, I'm actually interested in the argument. <laughs> so the two sentences are involuntary impositions or involuntary impositions of will. That's the first sentence, and the second sentence is A imposes involuntary impositions on B. Are those two sentences the same thing? The answer is yes, they are the same thing. Because involuntary impositions or impo involuntary impositions on will implies that there is an A, which is the will, and a B, which is imposing on it. So those two sentences are literally the same thing. And ask yourself, has his head up his ass and is too fucking stupid to learn how words work? Mike, He's a just, fucking moron. Can you just type them out in chat? How do I, where's the chat? I'm just general. Wait, but can they both be your wills, like in equation moments? Right. Uh, maybe, but that would my arguments not be more general than that. It doesn't make a difference. Where's the chat? How do I do that? I don't know how to use Discord, so. He definitely understood what you just said. Because the, 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 the one thing, the one thing that I'm I'm worried about is. You seem to be speaking very quickly there to try to really move us past this right. point. I don't actually see how you've proven anything. But I will, no, I, you're right, I haven't. This, 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 this other thing that Vix mentioned is actually kind of hilarious, too. Um, the idea that <laughs> you can have a imposition against yourself in like moments of uh, like a crazy or laziness. Uh, I typed, I, is that the right chat, the one I'm typing into? Yeah. All right, chat. so involuntary impositions of will, statement one, statement one. Statement one, um, A imposes involuntary impositions on oh, B. Oh, no. Statement two. Do you think that those two. say the same thing? Do <laughs> you think that those express the same concept? Necessarily. They necessarily express the same concept. Oh, no. He, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't, like, he doesn't, I, he doesn't, I, he doesn't, he doesn't, under, he doesn't understand that one's a proposition and one isn't. But, so, so again, but, involuntary. But, 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 but even, even but no, 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 but even, but even moving past, like, whether or not it's proper, whether or not it's propositional. Uh, one of those exactly. is like one of, one of those is talking about like the sets of impositions, and one of them is talking about like a singular imposition. How could they even possibly be but, the same concept? You're absolutely right. Like they're, they're you're absolutely right. Clear, the, the, the first is the first is clearly not propositional. But, uh, me if but they're, even, they're even they're even they're even just talking about different concepts. Right, right. So in mathematics, like, like if you can say object A is moving with force B, or you can just use the more general thing like F equals MA, but they still express the same general concept. So you're right that the first one is a more general application, the second one is a specific application, but they do express the mm -hmm. same concept. No. That, okay, so I see. I get, I get what you're saying, but now you're just going to have to bite the bullet on that one of them is not propositional. I never said anything about propositions. This was the bullshit that he said. They mean the same I thing. Don't know. They're 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 they look like they're the okay, my, that... my position is just these statements mean the same thing. And, yeah, and yeah, young, you're, young, comments. young, yeah. young. You're right. The plane is a proposition. But but but, cl but clearly, clearly, you don't think that they mean the same thing. They're just referring, in some aspects, to a similar concept. They both invoke the same There's concept at some point, but they're, they're, they're clearly, they're, they're, they're clearly, they clearly mean different things. One of them, the meaning is talking about a law or the idea of imposition and the other one is talking about like an instantiation of the idea i don't understand how you could possibly say that they mean the same thing both you, you clearly, you, so, so, so 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 look like, like look at it this way right okay, i understand what you're saying if we, were creating, if, we, if we were creating like a dictionary and oh, like a thesaurus rather and i wanted to get a synonym of the first statement would it, it make sense for the second to be called a synonym no oh, which is not what i was arguing so you're that's not that, my position Okay, well, I just, it, it seems like you're 
it seems so like the a, question the question that led into I, 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 no, but, but I, either what you're saying is can I, can I like very, very 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 convoluted so no one's getting it or alternatively it seems like you're okay, just I get backing what you're saying. I get further what and further off what you're saying so what led into this was that he asked what is morality he was asking for a description of the moral law and my description was involuntary impositions of will he wasn't happy with that so i gave him a more specific example a imposes involuntary impositions on b so like if you ask for a description of gravity i don't remember what the actual equation is it's like uh gravity equals force something 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 over something 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 but i just use the example of f equals ma i can use the general case f equals ma or i can give you a specific case of gra of this apple is falling at this specific rate Either of those are both descriptive of gravity. It doesn't make a difference if they are the exact same or not. They both describe gravity. So both of these sentences describe the moral law in the same mm -hmm. way. No, so they do answer his question. No, 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 they don't both answer his question. I think the first they is closer do. to answering his question than the second. But That's what I thought, too. That's why I gave it first. They, they, they they, 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 but, but I think what he, I mean, I guess I'd want Isaac to, chime up but it seems like what he his problem with the first one is it's not clear why i would accept that as the moral law at all um and then well, yeah, also and, 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 and also moreover there's this really deep vagueness to things like involuntary and imposition and will and so well, absolutely I agree. Well, 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 wait, so, Bryn, Bryn, what one of my things also so the reason i want him to be clear about this like first of all he is he is not uh, he seems to not be granting that one's a proposition and one isn't which is just hilarious right. but right. um and he also equivocates and then makes a propositional statement in english about physics and then gives a mathematical proposition which obviously are both propositions so he clearly doesn't understand when something is or isn't a proposition um but all the right. reason the reason that um, I I ask for something propositional is just because if he says the law is just and then he just gives me like a noun or a noun and a verb or something mm -hmm. it's like I don't know what it means to say like flying tiger is a law do you know All what right. it means to say that like a noun is a law can you make any sense of that no and that's that's where I was gonna go is it it seemed like there can't it can't substantively be argued as a law. Um, in virtue of it not being proposition. Now it seems like you're, you're getting at what could be an answer, but there's a few ways you could make that sentence propositional, but it's, it's not gonna work for any kind of argument. But the thing is that it's easy to make it into a proposition or something that is comprehensible right. or even an right. answer to the question. It's just stupid. Like what right. who that, thinks right, that, that, that would, right. that's what morality is? Like. Right, right. But that, yeah, that, the, 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 there's sort of the open question attack, which I think is the fun one. Or there's also the pet fact that, that um, like the, right, so the, 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 the fact that you're unclear means that this what you've given can't substantively be argued for. Oh, my my point here isn't to argue for the truth of these. That that's a different argument. My point here is just saying these two mean the same thing. They're referring to the same law well, in different just, senses. That's just not true. Like the right. point is that just because one statement, because we don't want to call it propositions for some reason, we don't want to talk about propositions. So. Just because the first statement, the concept that wait, it's wait, describing, Young, supposedly. How, how, so, just, Young, sorry to cut you off, just, but why you shouldn't call it a statement? How is it a statement? Yeah, it's not. Just call, it, just, call it a noun. I'm just what, saying, call it like a noun with a verb or whatever it is. No, but, but the point is that the, the point is that with a bit of uh, mental uh, exercise and some charity, right? You can pick out some concept there, right? But what I'm trying to say is that. Just because the concept that's in the first uh, statement, I'm just going to say statement, whatever, um, is contained within or referenced in the second, doesn't mean both have the same meaning. No, so they're, they're, clear, they're clearly not just clear because meaning. it's like if I say bachelor and then I say John is a bachelor or something that right. the, you know it's like. Well, and, well, and, 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 and wait, wait, in this case, one sec, one, like, like bachelors exist. Yeah, 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 no, young, 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 you're, 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 you're making the same kind of point that I'm making, right? Why I point out one is a proposition and one isn't is because that's an easy way to see that the meaning can't be the same, right? right. How how can two no, things have course. the same meaning if one is a proposition and one isn't, right? right? So let me just let me just I just want this to be clear for everyone. Do any of you guys think that a proposition and something that's not a proposition can have the same meaning? No. No. Okay, so so for anyone who thinks I'm just being 
picky, right? I'm just like, oh, not a proposition, right? Like the reason why I'm doing that is because he's sitting here telling me he's been giving the same answer. Now he might be thinking about the same thing and just doing a shit job of articulating it, that's fine. But when he tries to, when he plants his feet in the ground saying that they have the same meaning, 100% I'm gonna to respond to that by saying no they don't and an easy way to establish that is by showing one's a proposition and one isn't and if that's the case right. one can have things like truth value the other can't etc right. yeah the point can you explain the difference between the two can you explain the difference in meaning between the two yeah the difference the difference in meaning so even like even if I grant that there's propositionality to the first one like it has some cognition to it that there's an even further difference that one of them is just an instantiation. And so as like a counterexample, what you've done here is in the first statement said something like bachelors are unmarried men. And then in the second, you say something like John is a bachelor. Now, those aren't talking about the same thing. They're both talking about bachelors. So if the topic is right, right, I'm sorry, but I'm, right, I'm sorry, but Bryn, I'm I'm getting so triggered. We can't let him off the hook for that. Okay, you can't. Well, you, yeah, you, you, you just yeah. please. I know. I know you're. It's just because it's not the thing you're focusing on. So you're not being cautious about whether you use examples that are propositional or not. But please stop using examples that are both propositional because that's letting him think he's making sense. Please right. make sure to use one example that's propositional and one that isn't. <laughs> Right, I mean, like that's. But it's further but, 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 Yeah, but, but like that's that's the thing, right? Is not only is it the case that it's not propositional, but there's this other difference too. Like they just, they're, in so many ways, they're clearly not the same meaning. Now, the biggest problem, of course, is that they're not propositional. But there's this other yeah. problem too that you're talking you're talking about like some kind of law, and then you're talking about like the instantiation of the law. Now, when I when I say John is a bachelor, I clearly or like, like, like let's say. It, Let's say I'm talking about like an apple is falling from a tree. Clearly, I'm not talking about the law of gravity. Like that doesn't capture what we mean by the law of gravity. Uh, yeah. I can't hear you. Okay, when I when I say the apple is falling from a tree, I'm talking about the fact that gravity is pulling the apple towards the earth. But clearly, I'm not talking about the law of gravity. I'm just talking about something that the law of gravity can do or an instance of the law of gravity. So not only is it the case that they're not referring to the same thing because one isn't propositional and the other is, but we're clearly talking about different concepts in many other ways. So let me, let me let's try to explain it to you this way. So if we see an apple fall, I can describe that in two ways. I can give you a specific mathematic equation saying the apple is object X and it falls at this rate. Or I can just give you the equation of the falling, the, the F equals or whatever right. the equation of gravity is. Right. And both describe the falling of the apple, correct? Right, but the, right, but so the problem. So that's the problem exactly what in, 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 one, in one case we'd be talking abstractly, and in the other case we'd be talking. Exactly. Yes, exactly. Just think exactly. of it. That's what I did. That's the but same just thing. think of it like that. Just look, think of it like that, right? In the first case, the point is that it could be talking about apples, but it could be talking about a fucking million other things, yes. right? right? Yes, and, but, right, the, so but it's yeah. not the same meaning. But but even even more problematic than that, I think. For I mean, apologies, I gotta go pretty soon. But but that was the point. He asked, describe morality. So I described the general case, just giving the equations of gravity falling. So he didn't like me. Like he's strawmaning me. I didn't ask him to describe <laughs> morality. I said, what is the law? That's the question. Right. Yes. right. And that's 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 the thing. So I meant that, I meant those. I think that, I, so, my my guess my guess Isaac is that he wanted the law to be propositional and encompassing so it can be substantively argued for right that's the idea well yeah i mean it the yeah basically so if it's not propositional i just don't really understand how it can be a law like how, right how can, right like I, I mean i know that what he gave was i, I forget because he said different things there's either a noun verb pair or like a noun verb adjective pair or something like that but i don't understand it, how yeah. oh sh shut up i don't under sorry if that was someone other than tom i didn't mean to tell you to shut up i'm just saying that I don't understand how something that's just like a noun can be a law, right? It has to be able to be unpacked into some kind of proposition, as far as I can tell. Right. That's it's exactly what I did. I unpacked it into a proposition, just like what you asked for. Right. But the then it just seems like we're, we're I mean, but, talking but about you, you understand else, the question. If you, if you ask, what is the law? And I give you the general form of the law, and he says, "Well, that's not good enough. Give me it in proposition." Then I give you a specific proposition that answers the question. Both of those are correct answers. They are referring to the same thing. One is just a general case. One is a specific case. Everything I answered was correct. Ask yourself: Is just a fucking dumbass? No, dude, dude. But look, we can we can be chat. Like, there's people here that can be charitable you, to you to the point 
where they're willing to grant that by one thing that wasn't a proposition, you were actually meaning a proposition. But at least mm-hmm. fucking concede that those don't have the same meaning, even if they yeah. were. Yeah, yeah, and, and, they to, just don't. And, and to be clear, Young, I am one of those people. The only reason I'm hammering him on it is because he's trying to put his fucking feet in the ground. If he just says, right. look, I was unclear the first time. Ultimately, what I'm trying to talk about is a proposition. I know that it didn't right. mean the same thing. Here's the correct meaning. That would be fine, right? It's that he right. won't admit... He won't admit that the first thing he said isn't propositional, the second is, and so they have different mm-hmm. meaning. He won't concede that because it's a blow right. to his ego. So we can all just watch him humiliate himself just insisting right. on it. That's all I said. They mean the same thing. I never said anything about propositions. That was ask yourselves bullshit. I just said they mean the same no. thing. And I've just proven they do. I mean, no, Tom, just like Tom, the general Tom, equation I, of... I don't, I don't take him to mean something like you failed to describe... Or loosely describe a concept in the first. I think he's just saying like they have to necessarily be referring to different concepts because of the fact that the first one is not propositional and the second one is. The second one is more accurately describing what you meant to do in your answer. I think that's fine. I think that then we would move on. The, the, ho- the hold up here is that you have a really weird understanding of um, what, what sentences mean oh, no, or no, no, what, what no, no. reference are. Like, it's, 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 it's very it's very it's very clear that those two sentences have different references no, 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 they, they do refer to the same thing right. which is the law one is just a general case and one is a specific case so they do refer to the same thing which is the law which was the entire point the entire time they refer to the same thing they have the same meaning about the law so i was the correct only thing the that's common. Time. Look, look but i gotta go i gotta go thing that's I'll common. come back and talk to you guys in later all right Yikes. <laughs> right. what's, I, think, what's, I, think, what's, I think it's just... What's very, the law? Okay, so the, the idea is that statement one is involuntary impositions of will. Statement two is A involuntarily imposes itself on B. And the idea are those things referring to the same thing? It seems like no, especially because one of them is propositional and the other is not. Well, and for other reasons, like- too. It's just easy to understand, I think, if you just, um, I, I know that it's kind of, into, I guess, count, not fun, I guess, but, um, you know, if you are charitable, in a sense, if you try to understand what he may be wanting to say, I think it becomes, like, so much, well, right. it becomes super clear that they're not the same thing, right? like, because I just imagine that what he's trying to say is, like, if you want to express it in proposition as something like, the first proposition is morality is an involuntary imposition something uh full uh, whatever well right. that's the first proposition the second proposition is a uh imposing uh something on a non-consenting b is a moral case right that's mm-hmm. what he's meaning but those if you put it like that it's like so incredibly obvious right that they're not the right. same thing right Yeah, they're very, they're very different. I think that the, the more interesting, like, it, we're never going to get there because the guy is really, really stuck up on a lot of things. <laughs> um, but the, the interesting question, the one I have never really heard him answer is like some kind of response to an open question argument with respect to the sort of um, charitable view on what he's saying. Like, I don't understand why we would even begin to accept the involuntary impositions of will are wrong. Well, I, 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 I want to understand something. So does do you think that I'm being uncharitable to him? No, 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 no. That's, that's not what no. I'm saying. I'm, I, what, I, what, what I'm saying is that, like, um, he's, no, the, the question that we're talking about is not there's no one just charity there. Because you agree that... Um, there's a sense in which once we move past this issue, we sort of understand what he means, and then there's these other arguments. He's still just he's he's still just really queasy and about like what's going on with those two sentences meaning the same thing. There's no there's no discharity there. Discharity is where you you know take money from kids from right. uh, <laughs> a pool that would otherwise right. go towards starving children. Right. Hey. But, um, yeah. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Bryn. But yeah, they're, they're not being uncharitable. 
The yeah, idea is I, I, I'm, I'm yeah. the, like literally the only reason I'm hammering that is because he gave two answers to this question. What is the law? And I just said, oh, they're different, right? You're saying something different now. And he said, no, I'm not. And I said, well, look, the sentences have different right. meanings. And he dug his feet in. It's the only reason, right. right? I'm happy if he just wants to go, look, I misspoke. What I what I meant internally was the same, I, but what I right. expressed verbally wasn't. And he just wants right. to go. But the thing is, with people like him, they have an ego. They can't admit that they said something imperfect. It can't be that right. just like any other human, he spoke imprecisely, right? Which I don't, right. I don't. to be fair, if you want my take, I don't think he just spoke imprecisely. I don't think that he has a precise thought behind this. So I think that right. his, his, well, I do think he spoke imprecisely, but I don't think that that, is that the, somehow there actually is precise that thinking behind horrible. all the, right. the imprecise right. speech. Um, yeah, that's what we're trying to say too, Isaac. You know, like when we just want to, when we kind of moved past it, it was just to say that, on um, you know, obviously it was imprecise, but that's not even like the noteworthy thing, really. Like the noteworthy stupidity. No, there, no you know, and and like to, to to be clear, Jung, if you watch the entire debate. The thing about propositions and noun verb pairs being the same is just the end. The entire debate up to that point is I'm trying to get him to explain what the heck he means with this weird sentence. Um, killing a baby is wrong. Apparently it means killing a baby is immoral. Apparently it means killing a baby is a violation of some law. Then I'm trying to understand what the law is, right? I'm also obviously interested in the main thing, like what the heck could he mean by there's some kind of law there? So, you know, the, the, when he gives different answers to the law, the only reason we're ending up in a rabbit hole there is because he's being stubborn and trying to suggest his answers were the same when they weren't. Um, I also, sorry, if you want to say more, go ahead. I'm just saying, um, I guess the way he was saying involuntary imposition, that thing, I guess for most of this time, it sounded kind of mysterious, but I think, is, is he just saying that it's immoral to do things without people's consent or something. He's a preference utilitarian, and so he thinks that what we should do oh. is whatever maximizes people's wills being in accordance okay. with the state of affairs. Okay. Um, I also, I recorded that whole conversation. I would love if we could end that with a take from Jack. Are you there, Jack? Do you want to give us a take on, um, on what you just witnessed with Tom, if you have any view about it? I didn't, I didn't hear most of it. Do you have any idea what he might have been trying to say? Not really. But I wasn't <laughs> okay. listening very closely. Does anyone else want to get any words in about this on this recording before I end it? Bryn, Young, any like big general statement or something? Yeah, check uh, out my mixtape. It's coming <laughs> out uh, end of the month. It's got some fun. What about you, Bryn? I'm still interested in um, <laughs> how he discovers these laws, like what, what process did we get there? And so one thing that I've heard earlier is he does something sort of like what we do with measurements. And so like an inch doesn't really exist, but once we define an inch, we can measure it. The question then is, I mean, why would I believe that that's like some kind of mind independent law that I should follow? It doesn't really seem like he has a um, he doesn't really have anything to say about motivations, and I think that's going to break his entire view.